morning, guys. Good morning, Miss Davis. I'm Miss Davis. I'm here teaching second grade at Baker Elementary, and today we're going to be working on odd and even numbers. All right, guys, okay, so I'm going to read you guys a story today called Odd Todd and Even Steven. And I'm going to stop at certain parts in our story, and you're going to use your show me wallets to show me are the numbers odd or are the numbers even. Now remember, with even numbers, who can remember and raise their hands, what are even numbers? What do they end in? Peyton. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Wonderful. Even numbers end in zero, two, four, six, and eight. So that means odd numbers end in what? Who can raise their hand and tell me? Rock. One, three, five, seven, and nine. Excellent, nine, wonderful. So you're gonna stop and you're gonna think when I do my stopping points and you're gonna show me with your show me wallets, is it odd or is it even, okay? Even Steven and Odd Todd. Even Steven lived on the edge of town in a two-story house with a four bicycle garage he had six cats, eight gerbils, ten goldfish, and a flower garden with twelve sprinklers. Are two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve even numbers or odd numbers? Use your show me wallets to show me. Wonderful. Good job. Good, almost all of us held up even. Good job, you can put your show me wallets in your lap, okay? One day, even Steven heard a knock on his door. He looked out the window. <laughs> it was cousin Odd Todd. Even Steven pulled down the shade and turned off the lights. No one's home, he shouted. He heard three knocks, he heard five knocks, and then he heard seven knocks. What are three, five, and seven? Show me with your wallets what those numbers are, if they're even or odd. Good. Peyton, show me with your wallet. Are those numbers even or odd? Wonderful. Excellent, we all put odd. Okay, put your show me wallets down. Stop, stop, even Steven cried out twice. He opened the door. Odd Todd said even Steven, what a surprise. Hey cuz, came a voice from behind those odd shaped suitcases. Guess who's spending the summer with you? Even Steven looked up and down the street. He looked behind the bushes. He looked under the welcome mat. He did not see anyone except Odd Todd. The next morning, even Steven got up at eight o'clock sharp. He was very hungry. I will make pancakes for breakfast, he said. If I make four pancakes, I'll have two now and save two for lunch. If I make eight pancakes, I can have four now and save four for lunch. Even Steven smacked his lips. Counting pancakes made him very, very hungry. He decided to make 12 pancakes, six for now and six for lunch. Just then, Odd Todd woke up. It was nine o'clock sharp. Yum, I smell pancakes, he said. Odd Todd rubbed his stomach 13 times. Is 13 odd or even? You can show me with their wallets, odd or even. Good job, Ra. Excellent. Good. Everybody who's shown me there so far has done a wonderful job and we've all picked the right answer. Good, everybody picked Odd for that one. Just then Odd Todd woke up. It was nine o'clock sharp. Yum, I smell pancakes, he said. Odd Todd rubbed his stomach 13 times. He went into the kitchen. Even Steven was washing his plate. He did not see his cousin. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Good morning, cuz, said Odd Todd with his mouth wide open. Even Steven's mouth fell wide open too. He stared at the plate of pancakes. Now there were only three odd pancakes for lunch. What's so good about it? Even Steven snapped. He went out to work in his garden. Even Steven loved his garden more than anything. Today I will plant six rows of petunias, eight rows. Honk, honk, honk. Even Steven looked up. Odd Todd rode by on a tricycle with three wheels, five different color streamers, and a horn shaped like a parrot. Odd Todd waved with one hand. He was not worth watching where he was going. Odd Todd rolled straight into Even Steven's garden. Even Steven's face turned beet red. Two puffs of smoke came out of his ears. My prize four leaf clovers, he shouted. Look what you have done. I'm really, really, really sorry, Odd Todd said. I'll buy you lunch. Even Steven thought it over. Odd Todd could not get into trouble as long as they were together. The pair of cousins headed for town. 
Even Steven and Aunt Todd went to the pizza place. I would like four slices, said Even Steven, two with onions and two with olives. I would like three slices, said Aunt Todd, one plain, one with extra cheese, and one with gummy worms. Even Steven looked at his cousin's pizza. There were nine pink worms on it, nine squishy, wiggly worms. His face turned a little green. You look a little pale, cuz, said Odd Todd. You should get in the sun more. Even Steven and Odd Todd walked to the ice cream shop. I'll have two scoops of double dip chocolate cake, said Even Steven. I'll have a triple nutty fudge sundae, said Odd Todd. Extra nuts, please. Even Steven took a bite of his ice cream. Then he saw something odd. It was the nuts. They were exactly 11. Who nuts, he screamed. Who put nuts on my double dip chocolate chocolate? Even Stephen's face turned blue. Four puffs of smoke came out of his ears. No need to thank me, Odd Todd smiled. They were extras. Does Odd Todd understand why Even Stephen is so upset? Brock. Um, he doesn't know because Even Stephen likes even stuff, but Odd Todd likes us. Excellent. On the way home, Even Stephen saw a sign in the flower shop. Perfect garden contest, big prize. I have a perfect garden, said Even Steven. It's perfect because it's perfectly even. He wrote his name on the contest list. Hey, cuz, check out this plant, said Odd Todd. Even Steven did not answer. He ran home and turned on his 12 sprinklers. Then Even Steven took a nap. Even Steven woke up and went to his perfect garden. The contest judge would be coming soon. Even Steven counted his six rows of petunias, his eight rows of daisies, his 10 rows of sunflowers, and one row of cactuses. Each cactus had five long, sharp needles. Even Stephen's face turned purple. Six puffs of smoke came out of his ear. He is mad. That's it, Even Stephen cried. I can't take it anymore. You are too odd. Just then, the contest judge came over to the garden. Odd, hmm, yes, but I like it. We have a winner. He handed Even Stephen two tickets. Two tickets to Twin Lakes. Even Steven smiled. Now who shall I take on this trip for two, he asked. Don't worry, cuz, Odd Todd said. My three bags are already packed. All right, the end. So what I'm gonna have you guys do today is I'm going to put these numbers back on the board. And you guys are going to write these numbers on your whiteboards at your seat, okay? Now, remember, do we have to draw 19 circles? No. No, we can draw how many? No. Nine, because nine is in what place? The ones place or the tens place? The tens, the ones. The, right, the nine is in the ones place. So you're gonna underline the number in the ones place and that's how many circles you're going to draw. So for 19, we would draw how many circles? Raise your hand, Meisha. Nine. Right, we would draw nine circles, and we're going to group them into groups of how many? We're always going to group them into how many? Two. Two. Excellent. And if we have one left out, is that an even number or an odd number? Uh, odd. 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 Wonderful. I like how my friends are remembering to raise their hands. But if we don't have any left out, and they're all in groups of twos, is that going to be an even number or an odd number? Even. Raising your hand. Even, you're right. So you're going to draw, write these numbers on your whiteboards, underline the ones place, draw your dots, and then you're going to write odd or even beside each one. Okay, do you need a tissue if you need one? But do you make it when you see that these are all groups of two? Did you make them all groups of two? So you did, but then this one is just left out, right? So should it have a circle if it's left out? No. So we're going to put the dot back, but we can only make a circle around it if there's a group of two. Okay. So is 19 even or odd since there's one left out? Okay, so write odd beside it. Good job. Just make sure you're writing even or odd beside it, okay? Because I can tell by your work that you're saying that it's even, but I want to see the word on your paper. Same thing, Misha. You're showing your work wonderfully, but make sure you're actually writing even or odd beside each number, okay? Or underneath your work. Great job, Jordan. Great job, Rock.
Good. So how many circles are you going to be drawing? Nine. Mm-hmm. So draw your nine circles. Mm-hmm. Count your circles again. Make sure you have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Now I want you to circle them into groups of two, okay? Do you know how to do that? Mm-hmm. Good job. Did you have one left out? Okay, so is that even or odd then? Odd. Good. I want you to write odd right here, okay? Excellent, Peyton. And you even got on one page. I'm really proud of you for underlining the ones place in all of them because you didn't have to draw as many dots that took up less time. Good job. I like the strategies that you use. Mm -hmm. Good. So is, is that going to be even or odd? Even. Good. So write even for me. And then I want you to try to do um, 10 by yourself. Write 10. Now this one you do have to get. Mm -hmm. Okay, your thumb. So is that even or odd? Even. Good. So is zero an even number or an odd number? What do we know that zero is? Even. Mm -hmm. So we just know that that's going to be a what? Yeah. And if we want to check our work, you can even draw 10 dots on your paper to check our work. So draw 10. And I want to see you group them. Good. Now we're any left out of the group. So is that even or odd? Even. Good. what you have here. Wonderful. Great. Good job. High five, Justin. You got all of it right. All right. So who can remember what even numbers end in? What are our even numbers? In the one place they end in what? Zero, two, four, six, eight. Wonderful. Mackenzie said zero, two, four, six, and eight are even numbers. And remember, we said that zero, two, four, six, eight are Great. And they all fit in our groups of two. What about odd numbers? What do odd numbers end in? It ends in one, three, five, seven, eight. Wonderful. Odd numbers end in one, three, five, seven, and nine. So what I want to do is I'm just going to choose one or two of these examples to show you guys on the board two different ways because I saw two, you guys doing two different ways. So some of you are writing 19 and instead of just underlining the ones place and just doing nine dots, you are actually drawing all 19, which is okay because you are getting the right answers and you are showing your work. However, if I give you a number like 99, do you want to draw 99 dots on your paper? No, no that's going to take a long time, right? So how many dots could I draw instead of 19? Nine. Wonderful. So I could draw my nine dots. Six, seven, eight, nine. And one thing I've noticed too is make sure before you start grouping them that you count your dots to make sure you drew the right amount of dots on your paper, okay? So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I drew the right number. Now how am I going to group them? What do I group them by? Two. Wonderful, two. I'm going to group them by twos. Now I have one that's left out. Can I draw a circle around that anyway? No. no. So if I have one that's left out, is this an even number or an odd number? Who can raise their hand and tell me? <coughs> that's right. This is an odd number. So I would write odd beside it so that I knew that it was an odd number. Okay? The next one I want to do with you guys is 52. Who can tell me where my ones place is? What number is sitting in that ones place? Fernanda. Two. Wonderful. So I'm going to underline the ones place. Now, do I need to draw 52 dots on my paper? No. No. How many do I need to draw? 
too. Wonderful. I love the way that Jalea was really excited. And so instead of shouting the answer out, she just kind of showed me with her fingers. So I just have to draw two dots and I can group that. Do I have any left out? No. no. So is this an even or odd? Who can raise their hand and tell me? Alyssa. Even. Wonderful. So I will write even beside it, okay? Yes. So we always want to underline the ones place and start that way, Jalea, okay? So it doesn't mean that the one that you underline is the one in the problem. You underline the ones place in the problem. And you always want to start with the ones place, okay? All right. You guys did a really nice job today. Pat yourselves on the back. Thank you guys for watching with us and learning a little bit about odd and even numbers today. Baker strong!